Butch James is another iconic Springbok fly half who was part of the 2007 Springbok World Cup winning team. Nowadays, he is still involved in the game as a rugby commentator with Supersport. He talks about life after rugby and his current business interests. Yeah, the, the transition from playing rugby into the, the business or as they say the big world was a pretty tough one. I think the decision to, to finish off and hang up my boots was a pretty easy one. I just started a young family and quite often when I was playing an away game I would much prefer being at home so that's when I knew I'd, it was time for me to give up as I wasn't giving the team my 100% which I, I really needed to do so the decision to hang up the boots was easy but the transition has been, has been really tough going into the business world. I've tried my hand in a few things and uh, eventually landed up uh, in property. Uh, something I always wanted to get into but th just didn't have the, the guts to take the plunge and, and start something on my own. So uh, it came about when uh, my mate of over 30 years, he approached me with the idea and we've teamed up and partnered up and uh, started our own little company called Cameron Owen James which is a, a real estate company, a property sales. So what we do is we team up with developers and become their sales team. So, so far it's been a lot of good fun. Uh, I'm not new to the property game. When I was playing, I did do a development with fellow players, uh, John Smith, Sean Salby, and a friend, Trevor Boynton. We did a, a little development at Sambiti, and then also been buying and selling properties as my playing career carried on. So I've really loved the property game, and it's good to be back in it. Butch enjoyed a long career in the game, but was always aware of preparing for life after rugby retirement. Being retired now for a good couple of years, I think uh, looking back in hindsight is always a lot easier. I think uh, to give some advice to the younger guys, I wish I'd got similar advice, but uh, to maybe get some, some studies under your belt and, and do something that you, you, you're really keen on doing. I, I know that old saying of do something you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Uh, for me, that would have been golf, but then I would uh, not be earning any income. So, uh, I, for me, it's love what you do, and you'll never work uh, another day in your life. So, at the moment, I'm enjoying that, and I think while you are still playing, it's a good idea to to make contacts, and even if you just go spend a bit of time with in whatever field you might feel you might be interested in, and just spend a, f a couple of days a week there when you do have off days from the training field and, and just see if that's something that uh, interests you. And I, I think if you do do that, you won't waste a good couple of years once you do retire in finding out exactly what it is that you want to do. So that would be my advice. It, it, I'd love to be able to go back now five years before I, I retired and and uh, be able to do those things, maybe get a, a good degree under my belt and also spend some, some good time with the guys that have done really well in their fields and just see which sort of avenue you want to go down. He's also been involved in various SA Rugby Legends events and matches over the years. With the Legends you also get to go on some incredible tours to play some games. Uh, for me my playing days are over even with the Legends. Uh, I do go now as the, the team coach, so it's, uh, it's a, a, the best of both worlds, I suppose. Get to go to all these lovely places and you don't get to get your body smashed around, so that's a, a good sign. And, and also, you, it, it's great places that we go to. We've been to Portugal, we've been to Gloucester in the UK, and uh, most recently I did my first Bermuda tour last year, and that comes up again now in November. So. Looking forward to going there as the coach again. I've got to up my game. We played two last year and lost two, two. So if I'm not careful, I might have to don the boots again and become a player again if I want to make that two again. So looking forward to that one. And uh, yeah, I just love being part of the, the legends. It's always nice to be giving back. There's uh, so much good that the legends do as an organization. And uh, to be giving back to a game that gave us all so much is uh, really such a privilege. 